All righty, Dane, I'm so excited to have you on board today with the interview series. I haven't even known what to call these interview series. I was thinking maybe Life With Option interview series or LWO interviews, but either way, so excited to have you on board today. Um, I know this journey of online marketing is just a new one for yourself. We have been involved with network marketing prior, and we'll get into all of the differences and, and everything like that just in a moment. But I know there's a lot of value that you bring to the table, so I just wanted to share that with the people that do watch these. So, like, look, first kick it off. Um, let's go back before we met. What What's your background? Yep. Uh, so when I uh, left high school, started university, I, um, uh, I sort of I started accounting before I left high school, and so I sort of got funneled into doing accounting um, before I got to uni, and I just continued on with it. Um, but I, I chose to do a double major because I wanted to keep my options open. I wasn't too sure about climbing the corporate ladder. So I uh, did entrepreneurship as well and found out that I had a real passion for, for business and especially startups. Um, but my first first up or first venture was while I was still at university. I entered a competition for the uh, App Awards and you had to come up with a, a, an app idea. Yep. And uh, went through with that and ended up doing my first app. Um, and that's been an ongoing process. That, that's been like four or five years ago now. So I'm still involved with, with app development and, and website development since then. Found a partner who's got the same passion and he's a developer and we still do it now. So, um, yeah, really enjoying that. But um, when I finished university, I did, did do a camp for a little bit. I realized quickly that it wasn't for me. And I uh, ended up back to university, did a, a stint in development planning and got another office job as an analyst. Did that for about a year. And then after that, I went traveling um, after that year for about four months. Um, yeah. And I realized that uh, I'm not going to be able to, to spend the majority of my life in an office. I, I have to uh, have two things and real interaction with other people. And secondly, the, the flexibility and freedom to be able to work from where I choose. So yep. uh, knowing that now, um, I actually uh, work real estate. Um, so I've got the people aspect. Uh, I haven't quite got the, the, the travel and the freedom aspect yet. So it's probably for getting into online marketing. I realized that it's going to give me the flexibility to do it from wherever I want to and, and hopefully whenever I choose as well. Yeah, absolutely. And actually, you know what, I'm curious to, um, I know the entrepreneur um, uh, university degrees and things like that are starting to show up a lot these days. And, and obviously the world is changing. There's a lot more people or entrepreneur is a word that's being used a lot more recently. And, you know, if anybody who's watching these uh, or this particular um, video is actually thinking about, studying entrepreneurship um, at university and based on what you know these days with uh, all the ventures afterwards what just maybe just highlight a little bit around the entrepreneur um, degree like what did you get out of it did you see value in it if you were to be in the same position like at day one learn? or going into that yeah versus what you know now would you go into it again or would you just take the step into the business world that you are like where you are now um yeah yes and no so the biggest thing i got out of my entrepreneurship degree was how to take risks you know um how to take calculated risks uh so it's basically it's it's, it's like any business degree really it's like a commerce degree it's very broad you've got marketing you've got finance you, you know, there's a, a heap of courses in it um but the number one takeaway was absolutely um how to take risks. So and that's very important. I'm, I'm, I'm a risky person by nature and I've made my fair share of mistakes, but uh, you, you learn to become okay with it because that's how you learn. That's how you progress. So yep. um, absolutely uh, doing entrepreneurship did give me the confidence to uh, start businesses without a doubt. Yep. No, awesome. That's, that's fantastic. Cause I've been curious cause um, whilst I did sort of start going down the, the engineering world um, with my unit, well, uni degree doing engineering, um, mm. entrepreneurship at the time was starting to become a, a, a known degree and it was always something that I was curious as to what is this all about what do you really learn and all that sort of thing so um, whilst I never went down that path I just dived in the deep end and work on the at learning elsewhere but um, I've been curious as to what it's all about so oh, that's awesome 
uh, I remember struggling through accounting units and uh, mate, I can't recall very much of it at all anymore. It's been that long. So. But my entrepreneurship units, no, I think it's just where my interests lay, my passion lay. So no, I, I, I still use them today. Yep. And as you said, it's all about when you went traveling for we the four months. We might be on a little bit of delay. There, there was a little bit of a delay, but hopefully it'll come good. We'll, we'll just keep going. Um, whilst the video has been delaying a little bit, the audio has still been coming through at my end. So I think we're all good. Um, as you said, like traveling for four months, uh, sure. it's something that, you know, working the job and things like that's not going to give you that flexibility. So um, I know that's along the lines of what sort of spurred me on as well to get down this journey. So look, let's, um, before we get into this current business, the new one for yourself um, and the online marketing, digital marketing world, um, let's have mm -hmm. a, a brief talk about how we met because, um, mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously the network marketing world, they're similar, but they're different at the same time. Um, so I guess just in a broad sense, like how did you find that? Um, the, where we met, um, was, was, look, I, I loved it for two reasons. One, because you met a lot of people, a lot of like-minded people. You got into circles that you normally wouldn't. Um, and from that, obviously you, you get a lot of motivation, a lot of ideas thrown around and you just seem to achieve more when you're in that sort of environment. So absolutely loved it. Um, made a lot of friendships and continue to have those friendships and, that's exactly why we're talking. Um, the second thing I think is the personal development. So, you know, getting into these sorts of things, rel relatively inexpensive, but you get so much out of, of uh, the training and, and the materials resources that they provide. Um, I know that when you and I just met, we were uh, surrounded by all these Tony Robbins people and, and not only, but platinum partners, like really heavily involved Tony Robbins guys and, and just the, being around them, seeing what they had done with their lives, the clarity and the focus that they had on their goals and what they wanted to achieve and, and their drive even to help other people just want to succeed as well. So um, mm. nothing but outstandingly positive. Yeah, absolutely. And that's always a, a very common thing when it comes to um, conversations. When I was talking to Dan in my uh, interview last, last week, we're talking about the personal development and, I think there's a lot of uh, occasions where people come into these businesses and underestimate uh, or, or maybe not even know what personal development really is. And I guess, you know, you definitely deep dive when you go into this world because um, everybody you're around is, is involved heavily with personal development, as you said, from the platinum partners in Tony Robbins and that mm -hmm. side of things. And, and ultimately it's the only thing that really stands between you and success is yourself and, the being able to really understand how you operate and think uh, is really where the game changing world is. So I, uh, I definitely agree with what you're saying in that regards. Mm. Yeah, no, but the world of business can be uh, like an emotional roller coaster, and just having those people around you, you know, it, it, the, you realize how to feel your emotions, you let them come on and you let, you know, how to deal with them, how to treat them and actually how to use them to your advantage. I suppose it's the skill that you get from it. So yep. if you were doing it on your own, you, know, you have those hard days and stuff. It's, it's difficult to push through, but when you've got a, you know, a positive and supportive environment around you, you know, it comes and goes quickly. Those tough times. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and I guess stepping from the, the network marketing world into the, the digital online space. Like I know, as I said mm -hmm. before, it's, it's very early for you. You've only been through uh, the 18 steps for the company. And I suppose most importantly, the, like the first uh, 14 steps is really what I want to focus on is um, you know, the access that the, the free access and that side of things that people can, can get now. Um, obviously through those steps, you would have learned a couple of things about the, how, online marketing, digital marketing differs to the network marketing world and, and some of the skills that you get through here. And I guess just, um, just as an overview, like what did you see first when you, when you started doing that two week trial? Mm -hmm. 
Um, I saw that it was uh, easily transferable into any business. So digital yep. marketing, online marketing, whether you just use it for you know, an online business or you use it for a bricks and mortar business, and thought, well, one, you're going to get, you know, you're just going to get a heap of education. Yep. And, and two, what have you got to lose? You know, it's, it was a dollar for the 14 days and you, know, you just get a heap of content that you you go through and it's, as I said, transferable into anything else that you do. So uh, it was an easy no-brainer. Yeah, absolutely. And I think one of the big things, and this is something that stood out to me when I first did my, well, when, not when I first, because I've only done it once, but when I did the, the 14 days was, I guess, having the coach, somebody who is far more experienced than what I am in this particular space. And something that I had found in the network marketing world was that I was trying to teach somebody who I've only been in the business for a little bit longer. And I'm still trying to work out what I'm doing and you know, all of this. And I think, um, you know, how was your experience with the coach? Uh, really good. Mate. So, um, you know, they're there to help you and answer your questions. So, uh, and usually I have looked at coaches before they're not cheap, they're expensive. So to get one that comes in, helps you, you know, learn something new and, and someone to lean on then, yeah, it's invaluable. Yeah, absolutely. And we had the same coach, Christy. <laughs> yep, yep, we did. She was awesome. We did. Yeah. And I did an interview with her only, uh, well, would have been a couple of months now on the recording of this. But um, yeah, it was good to have her um, share some of her knowledge and her wealth of uh, experience and everything like that. So yeah, no, it's super exciting. So I guess like... Um, as you said, so the, the skills and things are transferable. And, and I think that's something that is very, very key to know because whenever I've explained what this business is all about to, to people, you know, it, it's exactly that it's education. It's in and around marketing, business sales, that sort of thing, which is, as you said, transferable to cafes. And I remember doing a Facebook live recently with those. Yeah, absolutely. Everybody can utilize the information, um, whether it's, whether it is just a cafe down the road, a PT that's wanting to understand how to leverage their systems or leverage themselves online and things. Um, and I know you've got some, some massive, massive plans for all of the knowledge and stuff that you're growing at the moment. Yeah. So it's, um, it's an exciting world. Indeed. So I guess, uh, well, that's it. Like, coming back to it, as we say, like, as far as it's being changing and everything like that, like moving forward, what do you see um, changing for yourself based on all of this knowledge and information? Mm -hmm. uh, no, probably having more time. See, I like, I really like this business because of the level of automation and because of how much you can outsource and what's provided to you. So um, it gives you the ability to really focus on one task, get good and not be so frantic having to worry about every aspect of your business, right? You've got that support. Um, it's, it's, you know, outsourced and, and it's highly automated. So um, I really like that I like that I could be able to this Hold up. I wanted to Hold up. Just learn marketing anyway and any other. Um, those were the main reasons. Cutting yeah. out a bit there, Brett. It was indeed. And I think We're I still on. We are still on. We are still going. Um, just to sort of recap on what you were saying there, was it around learning the skills of the online marketing and how it's being outsourced, um, obviously leveraging the, the coaches and everything like that through the automated system. And I think what's exciting for me, and I think you may have said something along the lines there, I'm not too sure, but you know, the fact that you don't actually have to do any sales yourself um, and all you've got to do is yeah. just do that one thing, which is purely just implement all of the knowledge in which you're learning. Yeah, yeah, it's just marketing, yeah. Yeah, which is super exciting. So, um, all right, look, I guess, the, as I said, there are people that who watch this and there's people that reach out to me after each time that I, I do an interview and everything that starts to get a little bit curious. And I think it starts to, uh, those people that are sitting on the fence, it starts to sort of 
pick, prick their ears up a little bit and go, well, what is this world of online marketing, digital marketing, all of that side of things. So, you know, I'm sure it's not, this video is going to be no different. There's probably going to be people sitting on the edge and a little bit unsure. So, you know, what would you, what sort of, what's some information or knowledge or um, some words from your experience like that you could share with them? Okay. Um, I suppose uh, there's, there's two questions in there that I want to answer. So the first one, why online marketing? Why did I uh, start looking at it? And uh, one of the biggest reasons is uh, asymmetric risk. And, and you obviously know a lot about this, but um, very little uh, investment, you know, and uh, potentially a, a huge upside. So yep. uh, when you're starting out in entrepreneurship, when you're starting new businesses, there's two ways to do it. You've either got time or you've got capital, you've got money to invest, right? And at the moment when you're starting, uh, you, you've got time. So uh, that's why online marketing, because it's an investment of time, it's, it's and, and not potentially not capital, not very much capital at all. So I really liked that. That's why um, I was attracted to it to begin with. On top of that, um, you know, it's about the lifestyle and even more so uh, that it's a growing market. You know, you think about how long the internet's been around and, and how much it's disrupted every industry and it's not going anywhere. It's just going to grow. You know, there's millions of people that don't even have access to the internet. And when they do, the first thing they're going to run to is education. So um, the, yes. the online education market is, is only going to get bigger and bigger and I want to be a part of it. And the second thing, uh, people sitting on the fence that, that don't know whether this is for them or not. Um, I always ask myself the question, I suppose, well, what's the worst that could happen? Um, the worst that could happen was I was going to, you know, spend some time learning something. So, you know, that wasn't much of a downside at all. So, as I said earlier, it was an easy no-brainer for me to jump in. Um, it was yeah. in line with my goals. Um, I knew that, you know, this was going to give me the flexibility to work when I wanted to and wherever I wanted to. So, uh, yeah, that was the second thing. The third question I asked myself was, was I going to regret it if I didn't take uh, the opportunity? So, and I thought, yes, I would. And, you know, that's probably my weakness. I say yes to every opportunity. You know, we talked about this before when you're over in Perth, you, know, you get shiny objects in you just run around like frantic. You try to do everything. But um, look, I, I knew that if I didn't do it, if I didn't jump on board, I would have regretted it. So, um, yeah, yeah, I joined yeah, no, that's awesome. And I do appreciate you sharing all of that. And yes, we did have that conversation about the shiny object scenario. And um, I know from actually when I was in the net network marketing world, it, I was very much about the next shiny object. But for the first time in my life, I've actually, I'm, I'm telling people, no, I'm not interested in anything that you've got. And look, at the end of the day, on paper, it might be a better opportunity. I don't, I don't know. But you know what? I'm so committed to this. And I know you are as well, just to make it work so that you know, it, you've got to have that focus on that one thing. Um, otherwise, you are going to keep jumping around. And, um, you know, this business, as you said, ticks so many boxes with the, the automation, the sales, the marketing, the, the education, the fact that it's online. And as you said, like we're moving away from that industrial age and moving into that informational age. And the internet is absolutely that. And, you know, I guess there could be people going, oh, yeah, but it's all been done for so long. But you know what, like you and I sitting here, we're really still at the forefront of the digital business world. Um, Without a doubt. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's the, the, the ship has definitely not sailed. So it's super exciting in that regards. The piece of pie that you need to find out for yourself, just, you know, it's so massive. The industry is, is huge and it's only getting bigger that you don't need very much of it to be hugely profitable. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. And I guess that comes back to one thing that we didn't actually touch on is the fact of the difference with network marketing, which is more of a low tier product and, um, and obviously this particular business, which is a high tier product. So um, anybody going through the, the steps will, will understand what I'm referring to there, but it just means a different price point. And as you said, you need to sell or yeah. make less sales to make the same money. And uh, ultimately, at the end of the day, whether you're selling a $5 product or you're selling a $5,000 product, you've got to put in the exact same amount of effort yeah. to be able to make that sale. So it makes sense to be selling a high ticket product. Yeah. yeah. So, but yes, no, I'm super excited about the journey yeah. together. Personally, sales, I, I love sales. I think it's really... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so am I, mate. So am I. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was just going to say about the sales thing, right? Please. That, um, when, you know, a, a low tier product versus a high tier product, it's all just about the value that it provides. So as long as you can demonstrate that the value outweighs the cost of it, then, you know, why not? It doesn't really matter how much it costs. It ma what matters is what it can do for people. And if you're, you know, if you know for certain that this product is, if it's good for you and you know it for certain it's going to be good for other people and you can translate that across, then, you know, people are going to buy it regardless, regardless yeah. of how much it costs. It's just about yeah. the value. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. And, um, and yeah, as you said, ah, oh, mate, so much value in this. I truly, truly appreciate you, you know, giving me some time today Easy. to be able to go over everything. It's been fantastic. And I know people are going to get a lot of value out of this as well. So um, what I'm going to do, if anybody is looking to get started with their online business and wanting to have access to the, the 14 day trial, I'm going to put the link in the uh, description below. So go head over there, register for it. And, um, you know, maybe you can be like Dan, uh, Dane here and having a, an interview with me as well as you're getting started and, you know, welcome to the world type thing. But, um, look, mate, signing off, I'm going to hand it over to yourself. What's some last words for, uh, for everyone? Look, I just want to say thank you, Brett. Um, as you know, I jumped in on this because I just trusted you wholeheartedly and if we, you were really excited about it and so that got me excited about it as well. So um, uh, you, you was this opportunity came around purely just because of my relationship, friendship with you, mate, so thanks. And I'm truly honoured and, and blessed uh, that you have that trust in me, mate. And I, I yeah, it means the world to me, I, it really does. All right, mate. Well, let's, uh, I'll leave you to have a great afternoon, evening. Uh, yeah, evening rather. Well, actually, it's an evening for me, Thanks, afternoon mate. for you. And yeah. Um, and yeah, we'll get... Yeah. I, I can't wait to see what the, the future brings. So, all right, mate. Well, you take care and we'll speak soon. Cheers, bud. Likewise. All right. See ya.